How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to the return of a series I do nearly every single year. It's the top 10 strikers, top 10 midfielders, top 10 wingers, top 10 footies, top 10 tots, top 10 anything, but we're calling it the best. This is the best players, or in this case, the best strikers Ultimate Team has to offer. So, lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that hype. Smash that like. Let's aim for a thousand likes on the first episode. And if there's any other episodes that you do want to suggest, maybe you want to see defenders, maybe you want to see I don't know, scream cards. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll look to get that done as soon as possible. Just to get in there, give you an idea of who you want to aim for in this game. If you're born on the budget, we've got the under 100k. We have the best of the rest and we do have the top 10 itself. So lads, with that being said, like the video, subscribe and let's get into it. So we kick things off with the best of the rest. These are the ones that don't make it into the top 10 because they're missing out, obviously. But then we have Quag the Real. I actually got him as a red, so I got him as a blue. I got him as everything. And I used him a lot. He's a fantastic player on this game. And his stats, they're in true. I mean, look at his card stats, man. He's 96 overall, 89 pace, 97 shooting. He's shooting. It's phenomenal. Great dribbling as well. He does have the four star skills. He's got 87 physicality and 94 passing. And the good thing about Quag the Real is you can play him Ram, you can play him Lamb, or you can play him Striker. He's very versatile in this game. Speaking of versatile, Dries Mertens. Of course, he's a striker, but you can play him calm, similar to Quagliarella. Mertens is fantastic on this game, very fleet-footed and a low center of gravity, which uh, means he's kind of very evasive on this game. He's get past challenge after challenge after challenge. You name it, he'll take them on. It's any defender on this game, Mertens can take them on, but uh, he is very diminutive, but he is amongst the best of the rest. Gareth Bale, now I know recently, uh, um, the UCL Bill made a return, not the UCL Bill, the Team of the Year nominee Bill made a return and uh, the blue kind of threw me off there, but he does have a better card and it is a striker card and it is 93 rated. Now I said in the Bill review that he's better suited to the striker and that card is the perfect kind of striker on this game if you do want a Gareth Bill at striker and he is amongst the best of the rest with great pace, fantastic physicality, great dribbling, great shooting and he needs to be there. The only kind of weakness that he does have is the, the free star weak bot which uh, does go against the card Sergio Aguero you might be wondering how the hell does Sergio Aguero not make it into the top 10 I'll um I'll explain now because he is good, but he's not that impactful in game. He doesn't fit the meta on this game, which is bizarre because look at the card, man. It's plus 90 in pace, shooting, passing, and uh, dribbling, and physical. So he should fit the meta on this game. But for me, he doesn't quite make the top 10. Timo Werner is in there as well, amongst the best of the rest. I didn't do a review on Timo Werner. I don't think I did anyways, but he is a fantastic player. Now, if I don't include players within this video that um, has my own footage or anything like that, it's because I haven't reviewed them but I have used them in the draft and whatnot I played draft quite a bit on this game and I've definitely used all these cards that you can see on your screen right now in terms of that they are the best of the rest let's have a look at the 101 well no 101k no under 100k club lads let's get into that so this is if you're born under a budget. Now, this is under 100k, and there's some fantastic cards under 100k on this game, and we're speaking of strikers right now. Got a couple of SBCs in there from Fernando Torres to Martinez. Now, if you did these at the time, Torres was 70k, Martinez was quite cheap as well. So in terms of those two, they are SBCs, they are tradable on the market as of right now. We're gonna start with Cutrone. Cutrone is fantastic on this game. Now don't look at his rating, it is 89. You might look at that and think, oh he's not 90 plus, he's not that good. He's fan bloody tastic lads, he's sensational on this game. And he's got a bloody amazing shot, which I don't understand how his shooting is only 89. It feels like 99, it's incredible. I did use him in a video earlier this year where I did score Van Basten finish when I was doing the AC Milan past and present and it was just an exquisite goal and since then and before then I actually love this card so Cotrone the future star is amongst those. Fernando Torres is another one. Fernando Torres is really good in this game. He's got great trouble in it. He's got good shooting. He's got good pace and he's got good physicality too. That's a lot that you need for a strike. He doesn't have four star skills. You've got to remember that but he is a great strike. Speaking of four star skills this guy does have Joseph Martinez. I always call him Jackson Martinez but Joseph Martinez comes in at number three of the under 100k club um he's great on this game he's fantastic on this game he's got the pace he's an impact sub and he's definitely one of the best impact subs that you can use at striker on this game speaking of those that are missing out on this like anaki williams and players like that um honestly i reckon some of these strikers if not all these strikers are better than anaki williams he probably would have made the best of the rest of anaki williams but uh yeah not today jovic is under 100k now i know that uh lucas jovic now of real madrid does have a team of season card but that's not under 
under 100k. This card is, however, 88 rates. It's got an amazing shooting. You've got to remember, he's got five star weak foot now. He's only got three star skills, but the five star weak foot, it, it means more than the skills in general. It really, really does. Daber, Munas Daber, now he's amazing. He's amazing. I was gonna do a hidden gem on him because he is that good on this game. I really enjoy my time using that card. I think he's four star, four star. Good pace on him. Sensational shooting on him. Left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. He can rattle goals into the back of the net without a shadow of a doubt. So that is the under 100k club. So if you're born on a budget or anything like that, all these players are under 100k. Some of them aren't available right now, like Fernando Torres, Joseph Martinez. But um, if you did do the SBCs, they were under 100k. So lads, let's get into the top 10. 10 strikers, let's go. So coming in at number 10, we do have the one, the only, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, a lot of people have used Zlatan Ibrahimovic on this game, whether it be splashback card, whether it be team of the season, whether it be any card of Zlatan, even the centre-back version, if you stick him up front, he does the job. And um, honestly, Zlatan in this game is a different kind of breed of animal. He's just great. Uh, I think it's the strength coupled with the skills, because he's a five-star score in this game. He's got a great weak foot as well. The kind of thing that does affect him slightly is the medium to low work rates, but um, Zlatan pulls it off. He's got sensational position. However, his movement does go against the card. He's got good strength, aggression, dribbling, five-star skills, four-star weak foot, like I've already mentioned, uh, finishing, passing, heading. Now, he's under a million. He's 900k and 880 on the PlayStation, so he is under 1 million coins. This card is fantastic and he could make a lot of different teams on this game. The only problem is that he's in the MLS, but the MLS now has that many good players in, he could definitely get him into the team. And a lot of teams now do have the icons and whatnot, so Zlatan Ibrahimovic is a great choice. Moving on to number nine, it is Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski comes in at number nine, of course. Uh, is he number nine in real life? That'll be interesting, but Lewandowski is a sensational player in this game. He comes equipped with four-star combo, four-star skills, four-star weak foots, and heights to medium work rates. That is like what you're looking for in every single striker in this game. And lads, he was, he was simply amazing for me. He really, really was. And um, he's coming in at 1.8 million on the Xbox, 1.95 on the PlayStation. But lads, he's dropped since I did the review. I think then he was like 2.5 million. He's got the finishing. Shot power, volleys are on point by the way. If you can volley it with Lewandowski on this game, bloody bang it. If you can chip it up, you can volley it like that. It's going in the back of the net every single time. He's got the dribble in, he's got the strength, and he's got the head. And honestly, he's nearly the full package on this game as Lewandowski, but there is eight of us better than Lewandowski on this game, in my opinion anyways. And lads, let's have a look at number eight. So coming in at number eight, it's Wissam, Ben Bloody Yeda. He comes in at number eight. He's just, um, he's fantastic. Now he does have one of the cons against him, and that is the strength, but lads, he makes up for that in a number of different ways. Look at the juggling on that shot. Fantastic finish. And I've reviewed all the cards apart from um, two in this review. Now I'll speak about that once we do get to them, but I have used the cards in foot draft. But um, yeah, Wissam Ben Yedder, he's coming in at 1.1 on the Xbox, 1.25 on the PlayStation. Sensational card in this game, and you've got to think within the top 10 strikers on this game, obviously they're going to be expensive. Wissam Ben Yedder's no exception to that because of the five star weak parts. You can see that at the bottom of your screen. Five star weak parts, phenomenal. And he's got four star skills, high to high work rates, so he never stops going, and he is always on the move. And that is one of the pros with this card as well. Never stops going. His movement is phenomenal, and um, I love that. In terms of the Barca new man, he comes in at number seven. It is Antoine Griezmann. Look at that finish, Jesus Christ. What a finish that was, right in the top bins on the volley. But um, Antoine Griezmann, yeah, you either love him or you hate him. And this is down to one thing, the free star weak foot. Now, it's not that much of an issue with the card, but it is still an issue with the card. However, his left foot is a one. Just look at that finish, man. Chipped over the keeper on the volley like he wasn't even there. And um, the keeper literally just stood still for the shot. But um, yeah, his left foot is just a one, man. You can see him like rattling goals in the background. It's just amazing. He's coming in at 2.2 on the Xbox, 2.2 also on the PlayStation. Free star weak foot. Obviously goes against the card, but not as big as like two star weak foot or something like that. If it was two star weak foot, he wouldn't even make his top 10 because he wouldn't be that good in this game. Three star weak foot's not too bad. He comes in number seven, and I think it's fully deserved. Coming in at number six is the masked man himself. He put that Black Panther uh, mask on in the Europa League. It is um, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in this game comes equipped with the four star, four star, but his movement is lacking due to the medium to low workers. But if you can get him on the ball, get the ball into his feet, get the ball into his head, this guy is a sensational striker on this game. 
game is just amazing. Look at this, edge of the air, flicks it over on the volley, back of the net. He's got the pace locked down. I mean, it's got 99 pace. This car is phenomenally fast. He's got the dribbling, he's got the close control, he's got the four star combo, he's got the finishing, the holding. The holding? Why does he holding? Heading, the volleys, and like I said, the only kind of corner with him is the movement, and that is down to the medium or low worker, but his positioning is phenomenal, and he will get into areas to score goals. In terms of the price, 2.6 million on the Xbox and 2.8 on the PlayStation, so he does come in at a very escalated price on this game. He is quite expensive, to say the least. Coming in at number five, it's Tottenham. So Tottenham finished above Arsenal in this countdown. And uh, did they finish above Tottenham in the league as well? No, no, Tottenham finished above Arsenal, right? Um, yeah, in terms of, uh, oh, actually, it might be, I don't know. I literally, I can't even remember last season. It is nuts. But I, I can remember Son. I got him in red. No, I didn't. I got him in blue. Honestly, I'm so confused right now. I got him in blue from the SBC. Lads. He's incredible on this game. He comes with a lot of different things that you look for in a striker. Four star skills, take five star weak foot, sick. He's got high to high work rates. He's never stopping, he's always on the move, similar to Ben Yedder on this game. And um, I do love that about the card. Now he is very expensive, two million on the Xbox, 2.2 .2 on the PlayStation. You're kind of seeing a pattern coming in there as well with um, basically the price on PlayStation being 200 to 100K more than the Xbox. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just it's just be like that sometimes. He's got the shot power, he's got the dribbling, he's got that five star weak foot, which comes in clutch. Coming in at number four, it's Eusebio. Now, I did review Eusebio's Prime at the very, very, very start of the year during the capture event, which you can see the footage in the background, but I have used him since. I used him in Foot Draft quite a bit. He always pops up, and I do use his card. Now, he's incredible. Now, you're seeing footage of the Prime, the 93 in the background, because I've got no footage of the 94, but the 94 I have used in Foot Draft, and he's just... He's nuts, man. He's nuts. Again, similar to Youngman's son. He's got the five star weak foot. He's got height and medium work rate, which I reckon is perfect for a strike on this game. Height and medium is what I look for in a lot of different strikers, and I just love that because they're on the last man and they don't defend too much. So they're not coming back too often, but they're coming back often enough to kind of just, like defend from the front and stuff like that and disrupt the player. But Eusebio is incredible on this game. It's just a shame he's costing 5.9 on the Xbox and 5.9 on the PlayStation. So into number three, we go, and it is Killian Mbappe. Killian Mbappe is team of the season cards, I reckon it's better than Eusebio, simply because he's broken on this game, Mbappe is nuts on this game, and again, it's down to a lot of different things, skill moves, one, four star weak parts, two, the bloody pace is the all important one, and number three, his pace is literally nuts, I reckon he's the fastest player on this game by a country mile, and it's cause of, uh, like I've played a lot of games with this card, it's cause of his 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, also he's got 99 finishing, he's got good volleys from 91, he's got sensational dribbling, he's got 98 agility, and of course I've played 163 games with this card, of course scored 178 and assisted 61, this card is bloody incredible, but also he's expensive, and speaking of expensive it's number two, this card He's not obtainable by a lot of players in this game, including myself, because he's costing 15 million coins on the Xbox and the PlayStation. At this moment in time, he's currently extinct. But um, as you can see in the background, this is Bates 87's footage. Thank you to him for letting me borrow this footage for the video, because honestly, I've got no footage of him. I have used him in draft. I've got him once. Lads, he was the real deal. The real deal, but he doesn't finish at number one because that one is taken by another player, which you will see in a sec. He's got the five-star combo. Five-star skills, five-star weak foot, medium to medium work rates, which I do believe let him down in terms of the movement factor. But again, he's got the position on lockdown. I can't believe he's 15 million, man. That is incredible. And there might be one player that could be at number one. Could be Ronaldo, could be Pelé, could be Messi, could be anyone. But um, lads, I don't class Pelé as a striker and I don't class Messi as a striker. So, it is Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo comes in at number one. This card, the team of the year. Now, the team of the season is very similar to this card. And so you could go either row. But honestly, I, I reviewed the team of the year. And so I've used the team of the season since. Um, team of the year was just, it was more kind of, I don't know, I've seen more output from the card. Now, it cost a lot at the time, 9 million max. Lads, he's costing 9 million 8.5 on the PlayStation as of right now. He's got high to low work rates, that is the meta on this game, if not for a striker. Uh, high to medium, high, high low, it's just uh, the meta on this game for strikers. You see him, like El Tornado, the keeper, put it in the back of the net. We've got the finishing, we've got the shot power, we've got the long shots, the hidden, the strength, the five star skills, four star weak foot combo, the dribbling, we have the pace. This guy is phenomenally fast, he's great in the air, he's got sensational movement, and lads, he's got the stamina to go all game long. Hence, why Ronaldo is the king of strikers on this game. So uh, let's have a look at the full countdown of this list. And lads, let's get into the top 10, which I've literally already done. But let's uh, summarize the top 10.
So here is the top 10 and lads just been through them as you've just seen Ronaldo has the throne basically he's sitting on a throne right there with the crown above his head and um, I do believe he fully deserves that number one spot Ronaldo comes in at number two the 97 rated icon moments Ronaldo which I have used in foot draft on this game like I did explain same be said about number four Eusebio Mbappe number three honestly I reckon Mbappe is just incredible in this game and um, it was very tight between Cristiano Ronaldo 99 uh, Ronaldo icon moments 97 and Mbappe it was very tight between the three and I just had to decide basically Basically, which one would come in at number one, two, and three, and that was the order I went for. In terms of Eusebio, sensational card in this game, the five star weak foot comes in clutch. The same can be said about number five, Hilmin Son. Number six, so Bamiang is a very good player in this game, very uh, kind of. You don't see him too often in teams, but he is incredible on this game. Griezmann, I reckon, deserves his spot as well. Coming in at number seven, the Barca new boy. Uh, ben Yedda at number, he's the lowest rated as well. Ben Yedda comes in at number eight. He's the lowest rated at 93, but lads, he fully deserves his spots in the top 10. Five star week for OP, like I did say, and he's very, very evasive too. Uh, Lewandowski with the four star combo, the strength, the, the pace, the shooting of 98 comes in at uh, number, number nine, I do believe. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic comes in at number 10, because Flashback, team of the season, there's not so too much difference between the cards. But as you know, Zlatan Ibrahimovic on this game is a bloody boss. You've seen the best of the rest. You've seen the under 100k. If you want to go back, you want to see that, you've skipped to the end. Lads, stop skipping the end of videos. Go back, watch that. And like I said, this video, it should suit everybody on this game. From those born on a budget, to those looking for the best of the rest, to those looking for the top 10. If you can't quite afford that... Under 100k is there, it should suit everyone in this game. Lads, the top 10 is back on this channel. The best strikers has been shown. If you've got any other suggestions for the best, uh, whatever it be, in the midfielders, the best footies, the best team of seasons, the best anything on this game. Defenders, best goalkeepers, even though I think all goalkeepers are trash. Um, let me know in the comment section below, but I hope you have enjoyed this video, lads. If you have, once again, bring that hype. Smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.